Learners, welcome to NIOS Physical Education and Yoke Lesson 1 Part 2. In Part 1, you have already learned about the introduction, historical development, need and importance of physical education. Let's now learn about the historical development of yoga. Dear learners, let's know the objectives of the lesson which are as follows. Describe the concept of yoga. Explain the historical development of yoga. Describe the need and importance of yoga. Learners, now we will learn the meaning and importance of yoga. The word yoga is derived from the roots of the Sanskrit word yuj, which means to join, to attach, to bind and yoke and to concentrate on one's attention. Yoga means the experience of oneness or unity with inner being. Importance of yoga. Yoga is very, very important and now we will see how it can benefit us in our life. Yoga is a way of life with health and peace of mind. Mind and body awareness can influence mood and self-esteem to improve the quality of life. Physical purity and cleanliness of organs. Yoga massages all internal organs and the glands. It improves bowel movement and relieves constipation. It cures and prevents from diseases. Yoga is one of the best remedies known to humankind for curing chronic ailments, problems associated with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, migraine, headaches, shallow breathing, constipation, menopause, multiple sclerosis, varicose veins and many chronic illness can also be cured with yoga. Yoga reduces mental tensions, fatigue and stress including relaxation. Yoga offers techniques as proven therapies for illness and stress. Yogic exercises and deep breathing can reduce stress, thereby lowering blood pressure and inducing relaxation. Yoga brings stability to the wavering mind and reduces physical and mental fatigue. Increases concentration and self-control. Yoga trains the body and mind to work towards a single goal with concentration. Various asanas like Padmasana and Dharunasana help in improving concentration power. The other advantage of yoga is it improves productivity in life. The daily practice of yoga asanas and pranayam helps to improve your concentration power which ultimately helps to improve your work proficiency and productivity. Prevention from injury and rehabilitation is the other advantage of yoga. Yoga asanas also help to recover and rehabilitate from injury. Yoga improves the immune system. The daily yoga practice will also help to improve your immune system. Yoga helps to improve sports performance. Sports like where concentration and balance are essential, components of performance, yoga plays a vital role for maintaining and improving their performance. Better lifestyle is the next important aspect. The joy and happiness of life will come through peace of mind. Yoga asanas and meditation improve your overall personality which deals with quality of life. Keep the correct posture of body. Nowadays, postural deformities are common in individuals. With good posture, they are able to do their work efficiently. They cannot enjoy the life if the posture is not correct. 
Yoga can be performed by a layman. Yoga is an easy exercise. In modern fast moving world, people always have excuse for time. Give some time to perform yoga every day to be happy and healthy. Yoga also reduces obesity. Your obesity is a worldwide problem and doing yoga regularly reduces obesity. The next advantage is increase in flexibility. Sports and non-sports person both require flexibility for them. Sports person can improve their performance by increasing the range of motion. And the non-sports person can improve their efficiency by increase in the flexibility of muscles. Provide relaxation. Yoga provides rest and relaxation which are essential for removing fatigue in the body. Fatigue can be mental or physical. Yoga asanas will help you to reduce the fatigue level both mentally and physically physically. Now we take up the second aspect of this chapter, the historical development of yoga. The pre-Vedic period. Indus Valley civilization reveal that forms of yoga were practiced in those periods. Several seals discovered at the Indus Valley civilization sites depict figures in a yoga or meditation like posture. The Vedic period. The study of the Vedas reveal that there were some partially developed concepts of yoga in this period. Vedas do not directly mention the word yogis or yoga. In Rig Veda, the usage of word yujrat suggests an idea of yoga for sense of control. The Upanishad period. In the Upanishad period, an early reference to meditation is made the main textual sources for the evolving concept of the yoga are the middle Upanishads. The Mahabharata period, including Bhagavad Gita and the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Explicit examples of the concept and terminology of yoga appear in the Upanishads. The epic period. Epics like Ramayana and Mahabharata are the important source of information about the yogic practice in that era. Sage Vishmatmatra taught Sri Ram and Lakshman the art of yoga and pranayam. Lord Krishna narrated yoga to his disciple Arjuna in the battlefield. The term yoga has been used in Bhagavad Gita in a variety of senses. Karma yoga, bhakti yoga, etc. are mentioned in that. Sutra period. All the credit goes to Parthanjali, who gave us the present literary form of yoga. Yoga Sutra is an old literature which is divided into four books. He described eight limbs of yoga, such as Yam, Niyam, Asnas, Pranayam, Pratyahara, Dharma, Dhyana and Samadhi. Smriti period. Smritis were written till about 1000 AD. The literature of this period shows changes in beliefs, ideas, worships, rituals and customs. In most of the rituals, Pranayam and other purification techniques showed a significant presence. Medieval period. In this period, two cults were famous, the Natha cult and the Bhakti cult. Hatha Yoga finds its evaluation and its fame in the Natha cult. Hatha Yoga is a particular system of yoga. The saints of these periods used to do various yogic practices. The modern period. Yoga has taken up a new shape in the 20th century, which is contrary to its history of lifelong devotion. 
The yoke practiced in the modern times implements the techniques to strengthen mind and body. It is practiced to keep mind and body healthy. Yoga is spreading now to all over the world. Learners, this brings us to the close of the second part of lesson 1. I hope you have liked watching this video. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.